Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in this video, we are going to cover the linked list implementation in Java. So you might be wondering why we are covering the data structures because nowadays data structure questions are being asked in interviews very commonly. So we are starting with the very basic that is a linked list and in future we are going to cover all the data structure and algorithm concept along with the lead code questions. So let's get started. So what is linked list? So a linked list is a linear data structure which is used for storing collection of data in the form of node. So what, uh, what do you mean by linear data structure? So linear data structures are those data structures where data elements are arranged sequentially or linearly, where each and every element is attached to the previous and next adjacent element. Therefore, we can traverse all the element in a single run only. In the linked list, the element are linked using pointers. So in simple words, a linked list consists of a node where each node contain a data and a pointer to the next node. As you can see in the picture, we have uh, two nodes and the first node is called the head node, which consists of a data and a pointer to the next node. And the next node also contains a data and a pointer to the another next node. So in the second node, we don't have any other nodes. So that is why it is pointing to null. Now let's jump to the type of linked list. So there are many types of linked lists, singly linked list, doubly linked list, header linked list, and so on. But in this video, we are going to cover only singly linked list and we are also going to see the implementation. So what is singly linked list? Singly linked list is a type of linked list, which is unidirectional. It can traverse only in one directional from head to last node. Singly linked list, we have a we have a node in which we have data and a pointer to next node. In singly linked list, we don't have pointer to the previous node. We are in future we are going to cover doubly linked list in which we have the pointer to the next node as well as the previous node. But in this video, we are only going to cover the singly linked list. So each element in a linked list is called node, and a single node contains a data and a pointer to the next node, which help in maintaining the structure of data. So that is the reason why it is called a linear data structure because we are maintaining the structure of data and it, it will help us to traverse the linked list in a single run. The first node is called the head node and it points to the first node of the list and help us to access every other element. Now let's summarize the theoretical part of the linked list. So a linked list is a linear data structure where the data is formed in a linear manner. A linked list contains node. Uh, a node has a two part. The first part is the data and the second part is a pointer to the next node. A singly linked list is a unidirectional and it can traverse only in the single direction. The first part of the linked list is called head and uh, using that we can traverse the linked list in a single go. So that's all with the theoretical part. Now let's jump into the implementation. Okay, so now we are into our IntelliJ ID and uh, I have already created one project called linked list. Now I'm going to create one class and I'm going to name it as linked list implementation. And inside this, I'm going to create one static class called as node. And inside this, I'm going to create two fields. That is two variable. First is integer. That is the data. And second is the type of node itself, because we have to point, we have to keep the pointer to the next node. So I'm keeping the name as next. And I'm going to create one constructor and which will be the parameterized constructor. And I'm going to put one uh, argument as data. So this dot data is equal to data and this dot next is equal to null because the next will point to null. Now I'm going to create the public static void main and I'm going to create one object of the linked list implementation class and I'm going to name it linked list. Now I'm going to create one node and I'm going to name as head because we have to create one head node, which will be the first node. And that head node will help us to traverse through the whole linked list. So linked list dot head. I'm going to create one new node. <coughs> okay. So before that, let me tell you how our linked list will be going to look like. So our first element, let's say we will going to take seven. Second element we will going to take as four. Third element we will going to take as five. We are going to take only three element and the five will point to null. So let's take our first element as seven and second element as four, third element as five. Now we have created the three node of linked list, but these three nodes are not interconnected because they are pointing to the null. So now we have to connect this three element. So what we will do is we will connect this element head is equal to head dot next is equal to second second dot next is equal to 
third. So now we have linked all the three nodes and uh, now let's see how it is uh, it is looking like. So for that we have to create one method that is a print node and we have to print all this node. So let's do that. So we will create one method as void print node and let's take a node and name it as current and point it to head. So what? why we are taking another node because we don't want to disturb the head element. So now we will take a while loop and we will write as current is not equal to null and in that we will going to print the data of current node. So this is the data and now we are taking some string literals. Now we are incrementing the current or you can say we are shifting the current node current dot next. So now we have to print the last element and the, the last element will be the null. So our logic will not run till the null. So we are we will print the null and we are removing this ln because we don't want to print in the next line. So our code is ready. Now let's call this method dot print node and let's see is it running or not. Okay, so as you can see the link list has been printed. So the first element is seven, the second element is four and the third element is five. So what if I have to insert the element in between the four and five. So what I will do is I will <coughs> create another element called as uh, let's say four and it will be a new node and let's say it's nine. And what I will do is I will do second dot third is equal to fourth and fourth dot next is equal to third. Now let's print it. So as you can see, we, ha we have successfully inserted the nine between four and five. So that is the reason why the insertion of a element is easy in the linked list. So that's all about the implementation. If you have any further doubt, please let me know in the comment section. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to cover this much amount of topics regarding the linked list only. So which covers uh, length of linked list, insert node at the beginning, middle and the end of the linked list, delete a linked list delete a node in the link list, reverse a link list and many more. So if you want me to cover all of this topic, please let me know in the comment section because this topic are very important. So please let me know in the comment section so that we will cover that cover this topic in the upcoming videos. Thank you.